Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, scientific reports produced for the COP28 global stock take show that we need to accelerate climate change mitigation. This is clear. This is why I appreciate the opportunity to explore today, together with you, the measures we can take nationally and internationally in this field. We need new and bold commitments to reach our climate goals, and I believe Romania can be considered an example in this area. Compared to 1990, Romania has reduced its emissions with more than two-thirds and aims to achieve an approximately 80% reduction by 2030. Moreover, Romania generates around two-thirds of its electricity from low-carbon sources, renewable and nuclear, and plans to further increase the share of renewables in its electricity sector to 76% of the total installed capacity by 2030. This places my country in a prime position to also generate goods and services with a low carbon footprint. Ladies and gentlemen, we also need to make sure that the green transition is also a just transition. We need to simultaneously deliver on sustainable development goals related to climate action and eradicating poverty. Decarbonization, economic growth and job creation must go hand in hand. By 2027, my country will have invested 2.5 billion euros from the EU Just Transition Fund in energy and economic diversification of Romanian counties dependent on carbon intensive industries. This funding will also help workers develop specific skills and adapt to the low emission economy. We are also in the process of developing a social climate plan supporting Romanians with limited financial means in making their homes and transportation more climate friendly. We are taking these measures because we are aware that those already socially and economically vulnerable tend to be the most affected by the adverse physical effects of climate change. Often, they are also less able to participate in the green transition. The social climate plan will also help vulnerable small enterprises in responding to fluctuations in carbon prices. The plan measures will be supported by a financial package from the European Union funds with up to 6 billion euros. Excellencies, there is no doubt that climate action needs to put citizens at its center and protect the vulnerable ones. Thank you.